That front one is a monster bull. That's now as big as they kind of get. Mr. Gary, we've worked ourselves into a fantastic position here. It couldn't be better. Perfect. It's going down right in front of my eyes. Well done, sir. What an awesome setup yet again. Well, morning, guys. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for bringing some moisture with you. Yeah. Um, we really, we really um, had some decent rain last night. It settled the dust. It's uh, it's calming down now. It's clearing up. I see some blue sky ahead of us. So mm -hmm. We shot guns. Everything's looking good, and we're gonna have a great week ahead. Gary, thanks for for making it over. I know you planned a few years ago, and with COVID and stuff, it's just been getting knocked out. But so good to have you and Cassandria, and for bringing friends along. So Dobie and Trace. Welcome. We've got a great week ahead, and yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. So, can't wait. Can't wait. Then we're excited. It, it took three years. <laughs> I, I gave my first deposit to Carl in August. Or no, in, in April of 2018, <laughs> and it's April of 2021, and I finally made it over here. So <laughs> third time's the charm. Good. Good. Yeah, a really good one. But he looks like he wants to feed into here because there's a ravine here. Yeah. Uh, it's a dry creek over here with pools of water in it. And they'll hug along there. Yeah. That front one is a monster bull. That's now as big as they kind of get. 615 from here. Got a good mop on him. Yeah, you got a yeah, you got a proper mop. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's monstrous. <laughs> is the Elon bull better than the Nile, as far as you know, relatively speaking? Not, I'm not saying I, I think, but you know, no, 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 quality in, uh, of animal. Which one's the highest quality animal? Probably that Nyala out of these two. Yeah, that Nyala is really, really good. The Nyala's on that, I mean, that Elan we would shoot to, we only saw him, but having seen that Nyala step out there, it's right. well, seriously good. Hey, the wind's good here too, we can just walk down, that Nyala will be out of our side, we'll go in the creek, and we could probably cut this side of the creek with the wind blowing across, mm -hmm. and get to the edge in front there and look for him down there. Gonna be prepared in case it does come out. You see him there? I've got a range. At this angle, you would want to put in the Wind crease. Line. Yeah, crease behind the shoulder. You're on safe. Okay. Crease behind the shoulder. Great hit. Great, great, great. Great job, Gary. Looking that, he's going down. You can see him there. Lot. Yeah, he's da He's gonna go down. He's down. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, 460. Good job. That was beautiful. Awesome. That was beautiful. Awesome. 460. Yeah, that's the longest shot I've ever made on that. <laughs> Good job, sir. What a beautiful setup here, and we had to play the patience game, and it paid off. But. You hammered him when it when the yeah, counter. I'll keep that with those others. Perfect. Good job, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Now let's go check it out. <laughs> you see him like there. <laughs> when we when I spied the horns from back there, I started laughing. I was getting excited. <laughs> <laughs> so that is an epic animal. 
<laughs> what I would term a proper Nyala. <laughs> proper. Well, Mr. Gary, we left the range this morning. Um, I said we, we're going to have a lot of fun this week, but I didn't anticipate bumping into something like this. <laughs> first, first morning out, and yeah, it was a, just a lovely setup, and so wonderful to have the whole crew together and shoot across that canyon like that. And it's truly a world-class animal. So, so, wow, couldn't have hoped for a better start to this no, week. So, absolutely not. <laughs> and and they certainly, you could, you could argue that they're the prettiest animals out here. Yep, yeah. most certainly. Well, yeah, he's a, a first one good. down, so congratulations. What a magnificent animal. First, first African animal. I may have to just quit. <laughs> <laughs> quit while you're ahead. Yeah, I mean, I went, <laughs> went mule deer hunting with Adobe, and the very first one I ever killed, he said, you probably won't ever shoot one any bigger than this. <laughs> you just don't need to come back anymore. <laughs> and well, right, I hadn't killed one bigger than that yet. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a full week of lots of different animals and lots of excitement ahead. So, yeah, well done on an exceptional start and an exceptional Nyala Bull. Thank so. you, sir. Yeah, Thank you're you. most welcome, sir, really. What yeah, a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Stallion at the back, there you are, it runs now. They're going to come through and go around. Right guys, so we've driven up from our southern camp to the northern camp this morning. Uh, we escaped the weather there a bit, it was a bit miserable, but looking a lot better up here. They've had, also had a bit of rain, so it should be good hunting. And we're looking for water buck. There's a couple around, but we're still not happy with what we see. And then zebra and a few other critters. Um, Nice terrain, yeah, hey, Dabs, you happy with what you're seeing, feeling a bit at home? Oh yeah, for sure, I love it here. <laughs> yeah. So, primary a nice big water buck and then we'll carry on with other things. Stockel, anything to say? Let's get after it. <laughs> okay, man. good. Crease of the shoulder, squeeze it off in the. Good hit. Perfect. It's a great hit. Perfect. Yeah, that sounded. It felt good. It yeah, looked, it was. It, it looked really good. good. Great shot. I can see his horn tip swaying in the trees just behind where we shot at him. Yeah, yeah. that's him. That's him. That's him. You got him. And he picked his head up. Yeah, he's not working. I don't think he's going to get it. Mr. Step. Thank you, sir. Well done, Mr. G. What a shot that is, man. <laughs> that's something special down there, I promise you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's very, very. Doesn't get much better than that. Man. What an awesome setup. Yeah. yeah. Cracked it. Uh, 490. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. 490. Oh, well, that's now my longest now kill long shot. shot. <laughs> We're just walking it out there slowly, <laughs> further and further and further. Oh, jeez. 
This is a massive giant animal. Gary? <laughs> That's muscle that I'm not. It's easier to move the stone. <laughs> so, Mr. G, it's a wonderful animal we have here. 490 yards. It's like a bear, man, we were discussing earlier. Massive, massive neck, and most, especially the horns are wonderful. And this is why we come up here to this area. They've got some wonderful, wonderful water buck. And you saw we passed up how many before we got this guy, just quickly. So we were in the right spot at the right time. And you made a great shot. Well done. Thank you, sir. Fantastic. Appreciate it. Well done, Stoggies. Awesome animal. Thank you. Well done, Gary. Magnificent. Zebras were just around the side here, but we just bumped a whole lot of games back, so I don't know if we're going to have too much luck. They're heading right to where they were. They were around the side of this mountain. We're hoping to get a bit of elevation, but if there isn't any, if we've no luck, we'll just carry on around. We might catch them below us there a little bit. Right. Hey, Mark, give us a chance when you... How's that fit look now? The good sticks? Yeah. Okay, squeeze one off over the top. Can I zoom you in more? Yeah. Okay, there he walks a little bit more. He might stop again. On your shoulder. Really? Yeah. yeah. In the head. Whoa, you got him. <laughs> it's a hell of a shot. <laughs> We, were you hoping to eat him something? You need the meat for something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just down. <laughs> he just rolled over. Thanks, boys. <laughs> that was fun. That was the greatest zebra hunt ever. <laughs> 700 in the head. 700, really? Yeah. Yeah, it was right at seven. Greatest zebra hunt in the world ever. Stage one successful. Very nice. Virtual zebra, yeah? Spared all the meat. 700 yards. <laughs> Nothing more I can say. That's fantastic, well done. Thank you very so much. It's an awesome looking zebra. I mean, it's got nice dark, thick stripes and that, and really pretty. sure it'll make a nice pretty rug. Mm -hmm, for sure. Well, Derby, we have a very dark evening. There's a dust and storm out there, and there's a bit of cloud cover. So mm -hmm. Pretty warm tonight as well, so we're hoping to call some jackal in here. There are lots in this area, and we've come to near the property perimeter where there are sheep ranches bordering around here, and that's pretty much the main thing the jackal eat around here. So we're gonna put up a stand here and call here and hear what we hear. Hopefully we get to call some in. Perfect, let's do it. Entire family, youngsters, big dog, everything. Yes! 
Yes, please. please. Got that Where? one. Hell yes. <laughs> Look how pretty they are. They are pretty. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. They're pretty. Well, we got our jackal. We set up a stand on top of the mountain, one came in, wind swung on us, ran away, and then, yeah, we, we drove forward with the truck and we came across one in the plane here. And perfect shot, about 100 yards, and different to your kayak, a little bit smaller, yeah. Adobe. Yeah, they're... A little bit smaller, but beautiful colors on the oh, animal. Oh, beautiful. They're... Yeah, so we had a so blast. Cool. Something different on the safari? Yeah. Got your black bag jackal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congrats, eh? Happy as can be. <laughs> <laughs> So the one on the right, just behind, on the, just a bit behind the shoulder, if you can get a good squeeze, you can squeeze one off. See it? It's all right here. Dum. Now let's just hang on. <laughs> we make sure. Yeah, we don't need. You don't need a wall-to-wall -wall zebra carpeting. No. Don't move that rifle too much. You should be able to pick him up. Right, Trace. When you're ready, squeeze one off. Got him. Is it? Put another one in there just in case. Not in him, him, but just in the gun. There, there he goes. Go. Gee, dang sniper. <laughs> it wasn't the end of the Greatest zebra hunt part two. <laughs> oh, there's a beautiful stallion there, yes, Trace. Very, nice. very nice. Beautiful. Look at these unique stripes yeah. on the back. So the, the, the birchels, which this one is, or the plain zebra, the stripes go more round to the belly. And then they call this a shadow stripe that comes in there, where some of the others don't have that with a white belly, but then they don't have stripes on their bum and that. But a little mark there from yeah, fighting and lately. stripes coming right down to the bum. 513. Something Very well like done. Thank Congratulations. You. Awesome. Thanks what so a shot. Much. What a hunt. What a beautiful We can be animal. pleased with him. It's yeah. Awesome. Oh, very pleased with him. Absolutely. Mr. Gary, you saw where those Gensbach went over the ridge there. All right. The wind is good for us here to walk just right there to that highest peak because the, the over the ridge there it makes a long flat plain which we can see nicely from that hill there. So let's walk forward and get to that area there and get on them again. They love this neck and they love to come and sit over here. If by some chance they come here, 
we've got a lot of rocks here we can use as a nice platform whether we lie on this one to shoot here yeah, or we'll just have to look what can work best for us or maybe this one right here to just a bit more height. A lot more than I thought would come. <laughs> Unbelievable. A hundred yards. Unbelievable. Uncle Gary, they are 200 yards below us. But they're nice and close, sir. And the wind's mainly in our face. And at 200, we're not going to worry about a wind drift. The epic Gemspike pursuit continues. The whole herd were down in the plane below us and they've just kept going. They're gonna to go to a old traditional kind of bedding place of theirs. They're gonna go up there toward the shadow on that back mountain. They're gonna bed up there for the mid part of the day. So we're gonna get down this mountain, go have lunch, come out and get back on them. Mr. Gary, mm -hmm. we've worked ourselves into a fantastic position here. 330 yards across the canyon, on the ridge, they're all bedded down there. It couldn't be better. Oh, there's a big set of rocks right here. We're right on the edge of a hill here, so we'll definitely be able to find a nice, solid platform here. We can get set up and make a good shot. You just relax, catch your breath. I'm gonna just stand here and then pick out and find that exact old car that we're looking for. position here. We're just gonna find a place to set up. She's just over the ridge. I can see that old cow's horns and just the top of her head. But we'll set up here and let them feed her straight to us. We'll be ready for them. But they're still quite relaxed. They, nothing's got up to feed. They're still in their afternoon kind of nap. So let's just watch them and then when they get up and start shuffling around we'll see what position is going to work best. But I think this rock is a good position. Got her head up now. Yeah. That's the one. That is the one. We need to come forward and get a shot on the shoulder. So just watch it come forward a little bit. So there's one walking behind it. Yes, correct. She's still looking off to the right. She's turned her head a little bit. Yes, she's looking behind her now. Yep. Okay. Just stay on her. Okay, she's taking, when she, when she moves her head, you take the shot in that hole you're talking about, as low as you can on that hole. Perfect. Perfect, sir. Perfect, she'll go down. She's going down, right in front of my eyes. Told you I had all. Well done, sir. What an awesome setup yet again. If I've got a good rest, I can shoot. <laughs> And I know what this gun will do. I had a hole about three inches wide and about four inches deep yes. where I could get down low enough. I could on that see shot. that hole, and I, I didn't want to mention. I'm glad you mentioned it that you could see the hole. I thought, man, I can see the hole. I don't want to mention it, <laughs> but it was perfect. Mr. Gary, 
for a great Gemspark adventure today. Yep, it was. Ended many hours later after getting on the herd on top of that mountain and spooking them and having wind shift and everything to getting it this afternoon when we came out after lunch where we left them to lay up for the day and the plan came together perfectly and we got an ancient old Gensberg cow. What a magnificent animal and just the right animal to take out. We saw earlier when she was standing there just skinnier, losing condition and you can see by her horn she's just ancient. The secondary growth at the bottom here, a wonderful old animal sir and what an epic day we've had. Cass, <laughs> thanks for coming along. We've walked you across many mountains and off cliffs and everywhere today and it truly turned out to just be an adventure today. Yes. We came away with a beautiful old Gensbach cow and yeah, what a great day we've had in the mountains. Yes, so, absolutely. Congratulations on a really beautiful, beautiful old animal. Thank you, sir. You're most welcome. <laughs> and,